Is remaining owner operator actually keeping you stuck? So this subject right here is really, really huge to me because I understand that most people open their business based on a specific skill set or specific craft that they just happen to get really, really good at. We're going to talk about that on today from a space of expansion and growth so that you can shift how you're thinking about growing your business. I'm Tanya Wilson Cherry, growth strategist, business coach, and mentor to women service-based business owners just like yourself. I'm the founder of 3D Success Academy for Women in Business, where we focus on three core pillars, your destiny, your dollars, and your disciplines. I function from a three-point perspective. Threes are like, three is my favorite number, as you can see. But abundance mindset, which is a space of expansion and growth, personal growth, and business building. So you can see that growth is super important to me. And what I find is that many people in the service industry end up being stuck, even though they've evolved, even though there's something else that they desire to do, even though they want their business to grow, they get stuck being tied to the business. And we're going to talk about that one today. Now, one advantage of um, being the owner and the operator is normally there is lower startup and cost involved when it's just us. But what happens, the disadvantage to that is it limits our ability to grow. Now, some of you may have hired people to help you before, whether it was a VA, um, whether it was staff, an assistant, an administrative assistant. Maybe you've hired some help before and it didn't go as you thought it would and it kind of stopped you dead in your tracks and you said, hey, it's just easier for me just to do this on my own. Now, that may be the case for your right now season, but what about your space of expansion? One of my most favorite books is The E-Myth by Michael Gerber. I actually have a video talking about four of my favorite books. Well, I have so many, but I had to choose four for the video. So be sure to check that out. But I love the book because it talks about the different spaces many entrepreneurs find themselves in and when they really get into the space where they're actually a business owner. So Michael Gerber shares his thoughts on the fact that if it requires you to always do the work, you're not going to make any money unless you're the person doing the work. You haven't stepped into being a business owner, but you are self-employed. And none of us really opened our business to, you know, create another job for ourselves, which is literally what many service-based business owners find themselves doing, simply creating a job for themselves where all of the revenue, all of the income, the marketing, everything, everything required is dependent upon them. So number one, there's a limitation that happens when we remain in the space of being owner operator. And number two, I'm only going to share two points and I think it will shift the trajectory for you and what you're building. It's another reason why every client, whether it's my VIP clients, my mastermind members, those inside 3D Success Academy, one-to-one -one clients, we always talk about where it is that you desire to go because so many of us get stuck in the routine of doing right now that we never position ourselves to actually profit in a space of growth. And so here's the second thing I want you to think about as owner operator of the business. You don't have help, you haven't hired anybody, you don't have other revenue streams, all of that stuff, right? Mainly running the business as you being the owner operator. What if you were to sell the business? The value of your business is lower when it was just you doing the services, right? Because oftentimes there are no systems, Put in place that another company could actually come in and run the business the exact way that you're running it, it would still require you in order to do the business in order to operate the brand. So my take for you today is to think about the path that you want to take for growing your business. Release any of the fear that you have about getting help. It is going to help you grow, right? So one of the things I do is I help my clients to um, create programs for assistance, administrative assistance, their uh, front desk or customer care, because I understand that having help 
And being able to leverage their business actually puts them in a space of what they really opened the business for, what the original dream was for the business, not to work more, right? But to work smarter and not necessarily harder. So how is functioning as the owner and operator working for you in your business? If you're in a space where you're really looking to grow your business and your brand, it's important that you put systems in place and to that you get help. You can be great and still need help, guys. I'd love to support you in any way. Um, if you're really looking to build your brand with systems and strategies for growth, I invite you to join us inside 3D Success Academy.